Guys, we and well, it's not just now. I'll start uh, over. I'll say yesterday. <laughs> Guys, yesterday we literally filmed what we both agree was our best video ever. Yeah. And it was completely on accident. So we started the video with one topic, and then it turned into a different topic, and it was just so fucking hardcore it was and fucking epic. On point, like boom, boom, yeah. boom, fire, fire. Yeah. It was yeah. funny too. Yep. Yeah. And, and then and then we went to turn off the camera and stop and everything. And then we realized four minutes in, the SD card had filled up. These are the type of problems you run into as people who make videos. Um, and it recorded nothing. We were just rec we were just talking into space and the whole time. After the fact, yelling at space. After the fact, we were just so mad and frustrated. We just like shut off for the next 24 hours. Yep. Like, so when you make a life changing video and like it wasn't like, oh. What fuck. made me so mad? Oh, so it's first, now one day later. Or is it two days? It's later? the next day. So it's now the next day, and we're ready to refilm. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I was. Furious. I was very mad because this was a video that was gonna change people's lives. Mm -hmm. So, but we're about to try and recreate the video. That's mm -hmm. what this video is. So, I encourage you to watch it because it has a really strong message. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, literally after it happened, yeah, I feel like you're totally. It's because my I got bad delts. Yeah. Um, after we filmed the video and just got really pissed off, I literally could not film the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. No, not even film the rest. I couldn't work the rest of the day. So I, but instead of resisting it and just be like, no, I gotta do it again, get to work, we just stopped just and took the rest of the day off. Yeah. Uh, instead of just talking forever, let's get into the video. Yeah. So okay. we're gonna sit down so on this casting couch and and start casting and start casting. Okay, put it down. So. All right, what this video that we speak so highly of that we say was literally, literally, I believe it was the best video we've ever filmed to date. This is yeah. what I think. Yeah. So the video originally was. What is like the top five lessons that we've learned from 2018? And it's not just like these BuzzFeed top five lessons to take away. This is shit that we learned, like real shit type of thing. And then we one will of them, still make that video talking yes, all about we it. Will. But there's just one point they want to expand a whole yeah. lot on. So we had five points, and then one of the points we just could not stop talking about because it was we realized how fucking big it was, and there was so much to say about it. Mm -hmm. And what that point was was just how massively life changing getting outside of your comfort zone is what i'll say and that's is, what we experienced in I, feel like, I feel like massively i feel like people are afraid to get outside the comfort zones and that's what's holding them back from achieving mm -hmm. what they really want mm -hmm. that's really what it comes down to mm -hmm. i feel like they mm -hmm. don't want to leave their comfort zone mm -hmm. and like you cannot achieve everything you want if you just want to feel yep and i'll say comfortable the whole time yeah and yeah. then i want to first by f first explaining what that means you can sit there and you can hear going outside your comfort zone like yeah okay that's easy i can go outside my comfort zone yeah i do it all the time no, going outside of your comfort zone is doing something that you genuinely don't want to do. It's something that gives you stress to do. So unless you so if you're actively thinking, and consciously think to yourself, I have to do this. Like I have to fight my urge to not want to do this. It's not just as simple as, oh, I'm going to go, uh, whatever the fuck. We'll walk example. down the street and say hi to someone. Because yeah. I don't usually do that. It's a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, that's not good. That shit doesn't count. That's not getting outside your comfort zone. When you think about it, or if you're about to do it, you get a fucking stomach ache. Mm -hmm. and you start sweating and you get really fucking nervous. Whatever it is, 99% of people won't do it. because They'll shy away from it because obviously you don't want to. It's really hard to do. Uh, and that is what separates like civilians, which is what we just call just average people. It's not a degrading term or anything. Uh, just the 99% of people who just live their entire life, I'm talking entire life, inside of their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really good way to fucking categorize these people. Yeah. The people that actually go on and do like crazy shit and actually like achieve things that uh, not normal people do, the people who become extraordinary people are people who are constantly going outside of their comfort zone. They're and the, so, can I jump mm -hmm, in? Mm -hmm. So they're the ones that are willing to leave their comfort zone but it's not it's not like it's easier for them it's not like their comfort zone no it's not easier yeah yeah it's not like oh it's easier for them to start doing these things no no it's just as hard but they're just actually still fucking doing it yeah as much as it fucking sucks and the thing with going outside your comfort zone so this is what we learned now back to the to what we actually learned one going outside your comfort zone yields the greatest results in your life mm -hmm. Fucking simple as that, we could end it there, but no, there's a lot to talk about. Right now, you could think about these things that are outside of your comfort zone. I'm talking massively outside of your comfort zone. It can be talking on camera, which is was a massive one That's for us. That's one that changed our life. It can be Let's like see. flying to the other side of the world with no plan. It could be these different things. Right now, you can think to yourself, 
and feel that this thing that's outside of my comfort zone, it will forever just be outside of my comfort zone. I cannot imagine a place where I could get to the point where I feel comfortable talking on camera, which is how we felt. I, and then another example for me, I cannot possibly ever feel comfortable flying. I used to have a massive fear of flying. Um, now that's changed because I want to have outside of my comfort zone. And the point is when you go outside of your comfort zone long enough, that shit goes inside of your comfort zone. And then it's just cool. And then you enjoy doing it. And then you could live life being able to do this thing that you feared for so long. Mm -hmm. Without no. the stress and without right. the anxiety of that thing. Yeah. And so I feel like everyone, my guess is probably everyone watching this video right now, you have a thing in your head that you know that if you did face this fear and left your comfort zone and did this thing, it would change make your, your life. life so much better. Right. Because we have is that thing. I have that thing for myself right now. Yeah. We have that thing. Everyone has that thing. You know it's going to change your life, but you choosing not to do it because it's really fucking scary and hard and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there are certain fears and uncomfortable things that you can do that one like won't change your life so like you don't really it's you don't have a lot of motivation to actually overcome this fear but then there's these other things that it's so big that it's stop it's completely holding you back in life mm -hmm. completely holding you back in life now we'll talk about what, it was, what it was for us in 2018 the biggest one was like i said talking on camera we went eight months where literally every day we would say to each other rasmus we're, we're, this channel. Let's we, do we, the first video. Yeah, we've been Let's doing do this. this. We've been doing this publishing shit. We know this is not the end game. We know we're ambitious. We want to achieve these big things. We want to be the next Gary V. Mm -hmm. We want to do all this shit. I can't be the fucking next Gary V if I can't make a fucking video. Yeah. So you know? we said for eight so months like, straight, every day, we have to make our first video. Let's go YouTube. We we know. We knew this was our next step was mm -hmm. making YouTube videos. And every day we would have a new fucking excuse. Mm -hmm. We would make up some random thing why we shouldn't do mm -hmm. it today. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I don't know. They're not gonna like this video. This is a random like mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. And in the end, all it was we were fucking too scared to do it, mm -hmm. and it was too uncomfortable for us. Yeah, it that, was, that's 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 what the reason was every single time. It was, was so far outside of our comfort zone that we just. It was so hard to actually fucking do. It was so hard to do. It took so much mental capacity and conscious effort to actually do. Um, and the to, longer to the actually longer fight you through it, you, to actually fight through it, you had to do something different. You couldn't just be yourself. And um, the longer you go not doing it, it becomes oh, even shit, it harder, gets worse, and harder, and harder and harder and harder. So, so it wasn't just one day. Oh, okay. Now let's actually do it. Yeah, no, no, it took a. It it took it took our, a thing. Our life had to get flipped upside down to actually take that step and do it. Mm -hmm. And it's because we didn't realize at the time how big it would be, how life-changing it would be. Because 2018 was our fucking year. 2019 is gonna be even more our fucking year. And the big thing was overcoming the fear of talking on camera. Mm -hmm. We knew it was holding us back, but we didn't realize how big an impact I, it no, would make it was on our lives. No, it was fucking with my whole life. Because I knew I had to do it every single day. I know I have to do this. I know I have to do this, but I really don't want to fucking do this. Mm -hmm. and it was just—it was just a hole in me that like I couldn't in, enjoy. I couldn't even enjoy the moment of my life because mm -hmm. I knew this thing that I wasn't fucking facing mm -hmm. every single day. At the time, I felt like you probably felt the exact same way. I literally felt like I cannot get to the point where I am comfortable and good on camera because mm -hmm. my identity was this person who was afraid of talking on camera. Super awkward. Super awkward just not good at anything regarding that at all. So I genuinely thought I can't become like a PewDiePie, just be good on camera. I can't become like a Stephen James and articulate myself and be good on camera. But as you can see, a lot has changed since then. And I'm sure other people feel the same way. You have this thing that you don't think you could actually become that. But look, look. once you approach it, get outside of the comfort zone, do it, practice it, then it becomes that uncomfortable thing goes in your comfort zone and now you can comfortably do it and it's just the most freeing feeling in the world uh -huh. and, and more than that it feels so good both of us we, we truly had the exact same idea of ourselves that I could never be that guy that mm -hmm. is on camera mm -hmm. on stage talking to people motivating mm -hmm. motivating people and they like really love hearing what I say and I'm like resonating with them that as well we're not there yet we're not but there that's yet. one of the, yeah. our next big steps well, I'm the part of the way I thought right and then so that, I, I thought that's not possible that's mm -hmm. not possible mm -hmm. but we fucking gave it a shot mm -hmm. right and now I can see that I can do that it is possible mm -hmm. and when you literally like overcome this like 
this limiting belief that I, I cannot become that person. I simply cannot. And then you do. Now there's literally nothing in the world that mm -hmm. I think I can't do. Yeah. I overcame the biggest thing. I yeah. was so fucking convinced mm -hmm. that I could never be that person. Mm -hmm. I could never be that person. Mm -hmm. And now now we I, are that person. Now now we're at least on the fucking path to become that. Yeah. I can totally see myself being exactly who I want to be. Yeah. And there's literally no. I believe there's nothing I can't do. Yeah. I li I literally genuinely believe it. Like it's so genuine now. Yeah. So, for example, one of the things that's outside of our comfort zone now is uh, talking on stage and yeah. public speaking. But now, because we, we did over it for the first time, yeah, yeah. We, we overcame this. We overcame this thing. I know I could become the person who can talk on stage in front of twenty thousand people, deliver like the best message ever, and motivate a shit ton of people. Uh, All right, so the camera just fucking over here, like it always does. And it's really annoying. Yeah, it's really fucking annoying. I don't really remember exactly where we were, but I'll, I do want to. I think we were talking something about our own fears, mm -hmm. but I want to talk about what our biggest fear is right now, and I know that something we really need to become good at, and the that one, is speaking on stage. The one that's holding us back a lot. Yeah. I don't know and if that, this is the one that's holding us back the most. It's not It's not like we have direct offers to be able to speak on stage and we're turning down or anything no, like that. Not yet, but in the future we will. Yeah. But I would be chasing that much more if I felt comfortable doing it, and mm -hmm. I knew I was good at it. Mm -hmm. But over the summer in Cancun, actually in September, we had our very first experience with that was speaking on stage mm -hmm. right so we were f talking in front of 15 fucking people and I guess 15 they were, people and they're like almost all of them were like really good friends with us yeah it so like it's super super like laid back it should not be that hard at no. all right mm -hmm. but once you get on stage it's just different I can be because it's I, all in our head it's all in your fucking head I feel like I could be talking to any like my family like I, I don't know something about it it just gets me fucking weird in my head, and I can't do it. It's literally like at the dinner table, you're sitting, talking to, I'm talking to you, mom and dad. Now stand up and do the same exactly, thing. Exactly, but then suddenly get out of my chair and stand up and talk to them, and then suddenly it's, it's just ooh, fucking oh, weird. Oh, now I can't do it's it anymore. It's weird. It's very you know? fucking weird. And I didn't, I didn't think it would be like that. I thought, now I'm kind of used to speaking on camera, so yeah. I thought I could do the same thing on stage. Same. I, I but I felt, I, felt like, I felt like it came back straight to square one, where right? I started. Agreed. Yeah. So I thought, like, oh, we'd be good at it now, because we could talk on the camera, and now we could talk on stage. No, I, I I got up on stage, I started, like... And then, oh, we suddenly oh, went back fuck. to who we were in high school. Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's felt like... A, so I, I, I personally... I what personally, the hell do I even say? I personally thought we bombed it. Other people say we didn't, but yeah, I thought be, we did. They are being... They said it was it was kind of funny, which... Yeah, you, you fucked around a little you bit. You could tell we were uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, so, another thing. With I just want to talk about that. With, with yeah. getting outside your comfort zone, it's, I, f I don't think there's any exceptions here. Mm -hmm. It's all in your head. Mm -hmm. All of it. Mm -hmm. Everything is in your head. Like, if someone else can do it, then so can you. That's a real thing, by the yeah. way. Uh, but I just want to talk about, like, that, that was our first experience with, like, really, really, not first experience, just with the speaking on stage one. Mm -hmm. Like, really getting far outside uh, our comfort zone. I don't it was really hard. It was really hard. And, like, I just want to explain, like, how it went for us. Like, that's how it goes. You're not just gonna do it once, and then now you've overcome it, and you're not great at it, and then that's it. That's the it's, thing. It's a fucking process, and it was, uh, you know, it's not. We haven't done it since because it was hard, and I didn't like how I felt, so well, I've kind of been avoiding it mm -hmm. and procrastinating with it. It's not. Yeah, you don't just go out your, outside your comfort zone once, and then boom, now you're comfortable. No, it takes repeated efforts. Mm -hmm. um, I can get back into that later. Yeah. But can I say the analogy? Okay, you had okay. an analogy that you. So wanted to I make came up with like analogy. I just thought of this. Um, and it's just about how to view this whole comfort zone, uncomfort zone thing. So imagine like a virtual map. Everyone has their own virtual map. And um, everyone has like this, the area that is unlocked in their virtual map is their comfort zone. And then there's just this massive part of the world, some bigger than others, that's blacked out. It's blacked out and that represents your uncomfort zone. You can't go there, or at least you feel like you can't go there. Um, so normal people, the 99% of people who just live their life, they have this small comfort zone and they stay inside this comfort zone their whole and life. And never ever leave Because it. going outside of it, going to this blacked out region is really, really tough. Yeah. So it takes a special, it takes a 1% type person to actually go into that uncomfort zone. Mm -hmm. And then this blacked out part of your map, which kind of represents your life, is a different uncomfort zone. So for us, one was talking on camera. And for example, that was a really big part of it. Mm -hmm. So not just me as a person and the things I can do. Exactly. It's no. just so much more vast. So and I'm not limited to this fucking shit. I'm just limited as Wait, a person. I need to explain, human, I need to explain it first. So then you go into this part 
that's blacked out, your uncomfort zone, and then you explore it. You don't just go in there once and then suddenly boom, it's suddenly a comfort zone. No, you have to be in there and explore it. And then after a while, it suddenly opens up and now it's no longer blacked out. It's now a part of your map. It's now a part of your life. And it's just the most freeing feeling. Like, oh, sh I that's have this the, whole other part of life I can explore. That, that's been the biggest thing for us, is how freeing yeah. it's been to overcome mm -hmm. that fear of speaking mm -hmm. on camera. Because like, I would always, even if I was just walking around doing my thing, it had, like, there was no camera anywhere around me. I just knew there was just this, this, this thing inside me that I knew I had to face. Underlying. And I wasn't doing it, and it was fucking with my life. So just always there would be this like constant underlying feeling of anxiety yeah. just and just being caged mm -hmm. and not being able to fully be yourself mm -hmm. and be completely comfortable at all times. Mm -hmm. uh, now every t you unlock this just be fucking bugging me and digging at me at all times. Yeah. Just a little bit yeah. at all times. So you unlock this blacked out region of your map and then you realize it opens up so many things. It's not just oh speaking on camera. No, it it opens up so much more than that. This whole part of life that you could not explore before. Well, I would say and so now you can suddenly explore it. So a big one for us talking on camera. Then this other one for me was flying. And then this was outside of my comfort zone and it was holding me back so much. I wanted to travel places, but I couldn't because traveling and flying on a plane was outside my comfort zone. But then if you know, maybe you know this, so as an 18, we traveled a shitload. So then constantly traveling, constantly flying, being outside my comfort zone all the time in this regard suddenly made me realize, oh shit, it's not that bad, which is always the realization you have. Mm -hmm. Something's uncomfortable, you live it, you live inside of it for a while, and you realize this shit is not that bad. As and then it becomes your comfort zone. So now that is another part of my map that opened up. Oh, now there's nothing, there's no flying, no traveling that holds me back anymore. And now I just feel so free. Now I can go anywhere in the world and not feel constricted because it's outside my comfort zone to do uh, that. Uh, our mom is just as afraid of, is more afraid of flying than you and it's completely stopping her from doing so completely. many things she wants. And she won't, she won't, because it's so hard to go outside of your comfort zone like that. So she won't do it because she's not mentally there. Yeah. I don't so realize I, what's gonna happen when you get outside the comfort zone. It will go away. You think now it won't go away, but it will go away and become comfortable. I would say you said that once you actually do the thing that you're that you're afraid of, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, that wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Yeah. And so as hard as speaking on stage was, I still had it was. I was like, this isn't actually that bad, mm -hmm. you know. So I had that thought as well. All right, this video has gone on long enough. I don't want to keep talking forever, so I want to end it with this. What are the things in your life that that it is going to change your life for the better, but you're not doing because it's outside of your comfort zone? What things? Are you not choosing to do because it's really uncomfortable? It can be fucking anything. I'll give an example real quick. One for me that is still massively outside of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And I feel like right now it cannot be overcome. Mm -hmm. I feel like it cannot be overcome. It is my fear of spiders. Yes, it's embarrassing, but it's so fucking real. Mm -hmm. So, and it, it was holding me back a little bit, but I don't have the motivation to get outside of that comfort zone because it doesn't affect my life enough. Mm -hmm. It's only on very few occasions where it causes me stress. I thought you were going to say this. This is what I thought you were going to say. Because mm -hmm. that doesn't really like fuck with our life that much. Yeah, exactly. I thought you were going to say, like, it's uncomfortable for us to film in public with other people. Oh, around yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a big one. Yeah. That's a big one we need to overcome. We need to overcome. And work in progress. Yeah, it's holding us back. Once we overcome that, and it becomes our then, comfort zone. Then I can find it opens up a whole no, so much. It I'm opens like, up a whole new part of our map. Mm -hmm. Now we can oh now we can film in public and now I can film anywhere. Boom. It it frees you. It opens you up. So I, I only feel completely comfortable filming when it's just us two. Same. Even yeah. like uh, one of our best friends is like standing like 200 feet away. But if, if just the thought that they can hear what we're saying on camera. It fucks with me. Yeah. If, if you watch the, the Villa Tour video, we have a guy that filmed for us. It was a completely random guy we didn't know. I found him on Facebook. He had a drone and shit. But he filmed for us. And the whole time, I just could not be myself. No. Nope. I, I couldn't. couldn't be myself. I was fucking acting the whole time. Yeah. Because someone else was watching. So now you guys know like what still fucks with us. There's right. still so many things. But once, we, once we're able to overcome that, then we can be ourselves. And then it'll freeze us up. Let's actually end this video now. Uh comment section i do want to hear yeah what is holding you back the most 
What is like three things? Three things. Three things. So uh, we're each gonna write three things each for so, us. So, so you can either look at it as the three biggest th things that's outside your comfort zone that is holding you back the most, or like your three biggest fears. I'm gonna, we're both gonna put it in the comment section for us, mm -hmm. and you can overcome them. Mm -hmm. You can overcome them. That's what we've learned is that you can, even though right now it doesn't feel like you can, yeah. but you fucking can. So that's good to know, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, what emoji should they drop? Spider emoji. Spider emoji, but I'm fucking scared of spiders. Right, right. Even the fucking emoji gives me anxiety. In, in, the, last, in the last video, which we said was a uh, banger, mm -hmm. uh, we went, we had a really nice, good long talk about mm -hmm. spiders, but it was related to the whole thing. Yeah, The so the first I one, agree. I'm still sad that we don't have the first take of this video, but this will be the substitute. Yeah. Uh, this was not as much of a bang. It's, I'm no, it's still good. It's I still hope good. So. Hope but the other one was just different. It was special. Anyway, yeah. let's shut the fuck up already. Drop the spider emoji if you watch the end. Thanks and for see watching. See you guys in the next video. Yes.